Welcome to our lecture online. Now that we know how to solve a system of linear equations, we can take a problem like this, which we solved differently earlier in the course, and now solve it using this particular methodology. So, let's see how this would work. Here we're told that the sum of two numbers equals 11, and the difference equals 67. So let's find those two numbers. And so first we need to define the numbers, but we're going to use two variables instead of just one variable to define the numbers. So we're going to write let x equal number 1 and let x, let uh, not x but y equal number 2. So the two different numbers, one of them is going to call, be called x, the other one is going to be y. And then they tell us that the sum is equal to 11. So x plus y is equal to 11, and the difference is equal to 67. So x minus y equals 67. Notice we have two equations that must be solved simultaneously. The method used, well in this case it looks like the elimination method is the easiest because two of them already have the same numerical coefficient and they're opposite in sign, which means that if we add the two equations, we're going to eliminate one of the variables x plus x is 2x, y minus y is 0, and 11 plus 67 is 78. So we end up with 2x equals 78, divide both sides by 2, and x equals 39. So if x equals 39, then we can find out what y is equal to simply by hmm, substituting it into one of the two equations. So let's do that. We get x plus y equals 11. x is going to be 39, so we're going to substitute that in for x. So 39 plus y equals 11. y equals 11 minus 39, so y is equal to minus 28. Now, how do we check to see if this was correct? Well, we're given that the sum is 11 and the difference is 67, so let's try that. So x plus y, so let's do the sum. We're going to check. So minus 28 plus 39, that is equal to, well, it looks like 11. How about the difference? Now notice we want x minus y. x is 39, so the difference. x, which is 39, minus y, which is a minus 28. What is that equal to? That is equal to 39 plus 28, which is equal to 67. So notice we got 11 and 67 for the sum and the difference, so it looks like we did it correctly. And that is how it's done using the method where we solve a system of linear equations. If she starts snoring, we'll turn off the camera. Hey. <laughs>